Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Andrew White Think twice before marrying September 10th Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 Great care should be taken by Christian youth in the formation of friendships and in the choice of companions. Take heed lest what you now think to be pure gold turns out to be base metal. Worldly associations tend to place obstructions in the way of your service to God, and many souls are ruined by unhappy unions, either business or matrimonial, with those whom can never elevate or ennoble. Weigh every sentiment and watch every development of character in the one with whom you think to link your life destiny. The steps you are about to take is one of the most important in your life and should not be taken hastily. While you may love, do not love blindly. Examine carefully to see if your married life would be happy or inharmonious and wretched. Let the questions be raised. Will this union help me heavenward? Will it increase my love for God? And will it enlarge my sphere of usefulness in this life. If these reflections present no drawbacks, then in the fear of God move forward. Most men and women have acted in entering the marriage relation as though the only question for them to settle was whether they love each other. But they should realize that the responsibility rests upon them in the marriage relation far than this farther than this. They should consider whether their offspring will possess physical health and mental and moral strength, but few have moved with high motive and with elevated consideration which they could not lightly throw off, that society had claims upon them and that the weight of their family's influence would tell in the upward and downward scale. The choice of life's companion should be such as best to secure physical, mental and spiritual well-being for the parents and for their children, such as will enable both parents and children to bless others and to honour their Creator. Let a young man seek one to stand by his side, who is fitted to bear her shares of life's burdens one whose influence will ennoble and refine him and who will make him happy in her love. Thank you for listening. We hope you can join us tomorrow again. This is a daily devotion. Homeward bound.